I'm here with Paul from Reiko. Um, Paul, obviously, you know, when you're doing technology, the technology that we're dealing with here goes into the home place. Yeah. So aesthetics are going to be of importance. We're going to be dealing with interior designers. Um, tell me a little bit about how, how this particular bit of kit eases the kind of transition between te technology and design. Well, quite often with interior design and probably the uh, more traditional client, they, they don't really want technology on the wall. So we've come up with a product that takes a conventional light switch, which people are very familiar with, um, and can be something like a, a traditional dolly switch or um, this company that's do's, uh, that, that do clear perspex type finishes so you can't really see the switch. Yeah. Um, and, and being able to integrate that into a control system yeah. behind the scenes so they see the traditional light switch but you can still use an app to control your lights. Um, so that's where this new small product which fits behind the, the switch mm. comes in. Yeah. yeah. So it's just an easy solution to kind of, you know, major problem but something that, that probably does come up fairly you know sort of a, a debate between the, between the two areas um also uh, we wanted to talk to you about the um the wireless wall plate something that's mm. obviously going to be quite a handy thing for for installers tell me a bit about that yeah we, we've for the last 12 years we've been selling wireless wall plates mm -hmm. um and to to commission them it's always been a fairly manual thing on the back you've got some dip switches that you set and yeah. address it and it goes in the wall yeah um our new product uses um, near-field communication to okay. transfer the program into the keypad, so there's no need to ever get access to it again. Right. Um, it also gives us the advantage where we can reprogram the keypad so that we can change the functionality of buttons. Um, with our original keypad, it was fairly fixed to a single room. Now every button can be changed to do any function. And what have you found um, from sort of talking to installers that have come around you know, to, to the sort of the regular stand? I mean, has there been anything that's been a, a particular point of interest or a, you know, particular reoccurring well, sensations? Or? The, the switch interface of all things actually has been quite popular. Yeah. Um, I, I think it, it's always a battle with interior design making something vanish on a wall and if we can make it easier for installers to put the technology in a property but without changing it too much then yeah. that's the that's I think been the main focus for us this, for this have show. Have you got anything sort of in the pipeline for sort of new products or anything that you're sort of coming out with or are you just well, focusing these are the, on? Well these are the two, two new products that when we've got. When did you got. launch the... the, the it, it, it was at um, ISE. Okay yeah. so, so pretty, pretty recent. So it's taken a, a little bit longer to get get the product you out. Need a break. But you need to go and have a bit of a holiday that's what yeah, you need. Well, yeah. um, <laughs> But um, the, the the main two things we were it's with the switch interface is a is a not being able to use the batteries up. Right. So we've we've got a patented circuit that basically doesn't use any power, sensing the switch movement, and um, that took a, a while to to go through. We needed to make sure that was all clear before we we officially launched it at ISC. Well, I'm glad it's all going well, and I'm glad the feedback is, is good. That's what we like to hear. Yeah. Well, thanks for talking to us. Thank you very much. Thanks. Okay, thanks. Hey, guys, thanks for watching our video. Click below to subscribe, and be sure to follow Inside CI on Twitter, Facebook, and Google+.